the Iowa caucuses are just a scant four months away. <laughs> Meaning the presidential election is just around the corner from the corner we haven't gotten around yet. <laughs> but the campaign is already in gear. That gear, neutral. But <laughs> this is a very big day. You may not know it, but it is the day that all candidates have to report to the Federal Election Commission on how much money they've received in the past three months. And the big news is that Vermont Senator and rooftop beekeeper Bernie Sanders <laughs> took in a whopping $26 million. I had no idea. I had no, it's, I agree. It's extremely impressive. I also want to point out the same people cheering are the same people who cheered for PewDiePie. <laughs> I had no idea you could make that kind of cash on Etsy. $26 million is more than twice as much money as Jeb Bush pulled in, even though this summer, and this is absolutely true, I gave Jeb Bush $3. <laughs> they actually had a button for that amount, and it perfectly matched how much I want him to be president. <laughs> it's not zero. It's not zero. Then again, on the way to work today, I gave a homeless guy a fiver. <laughs> and since then, Jeb has thanked me in the form of nonstop emails from his whole family. I get them from Jeb and all the Georges. W, HW, P, Boy, and Curious. <laughs> and you can't blame them. I understand why they keep hitting me up for the green, because these campaigns need a constant influx of money to pay for things like offices and phones and staff. So the staff will have an office where they can call you on the phone to ask for more money. <laughs> so campaigns are constantly innovating new ways to pull in funds. Howard Dean pioneered internet fundraising. George McGovern was the first to raise money via direct mail. And even George Washington raised cash by being it. <laughs> and now, I'm so happy to say, comes another breakthrough moment in campaign fundraising. Thanks to Florida Senator and Sears Portrait Gallery Sample Dad, <laughs> Marco Rubio. Rubio's website already features some great merchandise, like a Marco Polo shirt, <laughs> or a water bottle that says, Water Great Nation. <laughs> Get it? It's water, because that pun is so tortured, it's like being waterboarded. <laughs> but the fundraising breakthrough on the Rubio website is that for $250, you can adopt a Rubio staffer for a day. Well, that, I gotta say, that really pulls at the heartstrings. I mean, I wasn't gonna donate to Marco Rubio, but I can't let his staff, who are evidently orphans, <laughs> go unpurchased. And for your 250, you'll get recognition on Twitter and their website, an update from the staffer you adopted, and a postcard from their team. And as true conservatives, they might even write a message on it about how inefficient the federal government is before having it delivered anywhere in the country for 35 cents. <laughs> this, I believe... PewDiePie! <laughs> this is truly groundbreaking, I believe. If they're modeling themselves on Save the Children, I'm guessing things are pretty rough down at Rubio HQ. Those staffers may not even have access to clean drinking water because their boss takes all of it. <laughs> and whether or not I happen to agree with Rubio's policies, I was so inspired that I'm committed to doing anything I can to help other than giving him money. <laughs> Hello. I'm Stephen Colbert. As I speak, Rubio campaign staffers are digging through garbage looking for used coffee filters to turn into tacos. These staffers work 80 hours a week and use wet paper towels to take a bum shower in the bathroom of an Iowa Dunkin' Donuts. But for just $250 a day, the price of a cup of coffee every 11 minutes, <laughs> which is less than they drink. You can send these staffers the help they so desperately need to keep going like more coffee, <laughs> Red Bull, and let's just say, New Hampshire marching powder. <laughs> so please, call today, or don't. They'll call you. Because they're on phone duty for the next 12 hours. It's too late for Tyler here.
I have to honestly say I didn't expect him to get in my lap. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? You okay? You okay? Tragically, Tyler here volunteered for the Perry campaign. <laughs> and now he has to be put down. I went to Harvard. Shh. None of that matters now. <laughs> Please, give today. Let's go for a drive, buddy. We'll be right back.